In addition to the IUPAC nomenclature system that we just evaluated in the previous video, we can also name amines based on their so-called common or historical names. And the way that this works is generally applied toward relatively simple amines, meaning amines that don't have additional functional groups present in them. And we go about naming them by taking the names of the alkyl groups that are bonded to the nitrogen, listing those first in the name, and then just affixing the suffix amine. So let's take a look at, go through that on paper or on whiteboard here to illustrate what we are talking about when we refer to the common name, the general template that we are going to use here is we'll refer to these as alkyl amines, where the alkyl part of the name refers to the alkyl groups that are directly bonded to the nitrogen. And like I said, we usually reserve this for relatively simple alkyl groups, such as ethyl groups, methyl groups, isopropyl groups, and those sorts of groups that can be referred to by a single simple name without a bunch of numerical designations required. So let's take a look at a specific example here to go through how to go about doing this. So I'm going to go ahead here for this example and use a secondary amine. And for this secondary amine, we have bonded to the nitrogen, both a propyl group and a methyl group. And putting those in alphabetical order, methyl versus propyl, methyl comes first. So we refer to this as methyl propyl amine. It is also quite common to run into scenarios where we have a nitrogen atom that is bonded to multiple identical groups, such as this molecule, which we could refer to as trimethylamine. This was the smell of stinking fish that we talked about in the introduction video. So we have this as an additional option for going about naming amine molecules, specifically relatively simple amine molecules. We also, in some cases, will incorporate aromatic groups into this. And if we had a molecule, say, such as this, we could apply a common name to this by naming the group here, that is the entire group except for the amine group is referred to as a benzyl group. We learned about that back in our aromatic chapter that an aromatic ring, a benzene ring, plus one carbon that's directly bonded there is referred to as a benzyl group. And so therefore the common name of this molecule would just be benzyl because that's the name of the group that's bonded to the amine group and then tagged with amine. And that would be that for that particular one. Now keep in mind that technically the names that we have learned for some amines in the past chapters were common names that you should continue to be aware of. For example, the term aniline referred to an aromatic ring with an NH2 group directly attached to it. And that term aniline is used both in the common nomenclature or historical nomenclature system, as well as being an acceptable IUPAC name. So that's sort of a gray area between the common names and the IUPAC names. The aniline is both an acceptable IUPAC name and historically it was a common name. Likewise, um, compounds such as, as well, that we've learned in the past, such as pyrrol. We again learned back in our chapter on aromatic molecules, pyrrol was a nitrogen that is part of this conjugated system here and was an aromatic molecule. Likewise, pyrrolidine is another name that is most often applied toward this particular cyclic amine molecule. This is an example of a secondary amine that is referred to as pyrrolidine, which technically is a common name, but is often or most often the name that is used for this molecule. Um, additionally, pyridine is another one that we looked at in the past, which was an aromatic molecule with a nitrogen atom. This would classify as a secondary amine as well because the nitrogen has two directly attached carbon atoms. And this, just to dot all my eyes and cross all our T's, was referred to as pyridine. 
these names commonly come up on things like the MCAT and other standardized tests, so it's a good idea to kind of plant these in your memory if you plan on taking those types of standardized exams at any point in the future. Piperidine is this five-membered, I mean, six-membered ring, five carbon atoms, one nitrogen, and it is not aromatic. Those are all sp3 hybridized carbon atoms throughout the ring. Pyrimidine is a six-membered ring that has two nitrogen atoms present, and those two nitrogen atoms are at these two positions like so, when we refer to this as pyrimidine. And that will about cover our survey of the different amine molecules that are cyclic and the names that you should know corresponding to those throughout here. And these are commonly used in both the IUPAC systems and the historical or common system of nomenclature.